rest of their lives. Wife or girlfriend at the side of a hundred other detectives from Times Square to Central Park. And it's amazing. You watch maybe three or four million people go by in an afternoon. All those faces. And we always had pretty good success in picking out the bank robbers. One particular face I picked out of the crowd more than once. Shouldn't be out on the street yet, no way. Was a grenade his M.O.? No, he, he had a hunting knife when we caught him. Breckner, here he is, William Breckner. Right. I'll run a check on him. Huh? My partner, John Gaspar, contacted Lawton State Penitentiary to see if Breckner had been discharged, only to find that he'd escaped again two weeks before. My notes listed the places he'd hung out the last time he was in New York including the location in Harlem, where he'd gone to find drugs. John, would you like taking a little trip up to Harlem? I think I know where this guy's gonna go. Oh. Last time he escaped, he came straight to New York. Same thing this time. He's a creature of habit. And he's an out-of-towner. He's gonna hang out in the same places. Okay. But what's up in Harlem? place where he used to buy drugs. The narcotics has made a lot of busts in three years. You think it'll still be there? What matters is what he thinks. John was a detector from the old school, where you counted on your partner no matter what. If either of us had a feeling, the other would go with it. We trusted each other's instincts. We weren't following a hunch, because we knew Breckner's prior history. You always start with the known and work your way back to the unknown. The unknown was which bank he would pull that grenade in next. The known was that he used the money he robbed to buy drugs and that he had a connection in Harlem. We called some other units and set up attack plan. Breckner was big and quite possibly violent. Officers were situated around the area while John and I went mobile because I would know Breckner on site. The man didn't know New York. He'd go where he knew the drugs were good, Harlem. He wouldn't take the chance of being beat. That would be the mentality of someone like him. Spot him. We gotta get him in the car as soon as possible. He can't know. You don't take chances in an environment like this because the crowd would group together against you. Harlem was hot, and here we were the bad guys. Rector could also have a gun or that grenade with him. John, that was him. Spot us? I think so. who the other guy was, or if it was his neighborhood. For that matter, he could have been a junkie or a bank robber, too. When you don't know the relationship between the players and the environment, you have to be very swift in what you do. We had to hit him hard and fast. Get in and get out quick. to 
be done, you did it. You took the risks without thinking about them. Everything we did was second nature. And we knew if this guy had to go, he was going. John, the bag! The bag was bulging. It looked like it held the grenade. I wanted to help John, but I had a prisoner too. I couldn't get on the ground and roll with them. I couldn't shoot and risk hitting my partner. My only option was to step on Breckner's hand. Hi, Bill. Remember me? God, not sure again. I thought you'd know better than to come back to New York. So John and I checked his hotel. We found it in one of the dresser drawers and called the bomb squad to disarm it. 